Okay, so here's a quick tutorial on how I take a product image and get it ready for Amazon and eBay. In particular, cutting out objects and putting them on a white background and then adding just a little bit of a shadow. Um, so this is a holder that I photographed yesterday morning. Um, I literally used two lights either side, continuous daylights uh, either side and shot it from above. Um, obviously a white background, I wasn't too concerned that the background wasn't um, nice and crisp and uh, flat because obviously I'm going to be cutting it out. It's just to isolate the, um, the product from the background. So bring it into Lightroom and I'm just going to tweak the exposure, um, a little bit of contrast, bring out these um, details in, in, in the arm here, a um, little bit of clarity. Um, but now um, it looks pretty good to me, so I'm just going to bring it over to Photoshop. So I press Command D, which will edit it in Photoshop. So that should bring up Photoshop now. I'm um, just going to minimize this. So in Photoshop, um, I just want to cut it out. And the easiest way to do this is using the um, quick selection tool. This gives you a little plus sign um, that you paint over the object you wanted to um, isolate. The bigger the plus sign, uh, or the bigger the tool, um, it uh, doesn't have so much control. It just kind of um, is not very fussy about what it chooses. So if you bring it down to quite small, it gives it more detail. Um, so you literally just paint over here. Uh, and it's automatically set selects that kind of those colors pixels uh, and then selects the rest of them so it can see the def you know the, uh, the definement between the black and the white if you zoom in um, you can see where all the marching ants are and you can see whether or not um, the item is completely selected sometimes if there's like a highlighted area um, like um, around the edges you'll find that the marching ants aren't quite uh, like down here for instance they aren't quite uh, there so if we use the parenthesis um, key to, to shrink that down a uh, bit more detail you should be able to add that in like so um, and come out also here we don't want this grey um, looking um, part in it because that's going to show up really badly uh, when it's against a white background. So we want to um, cut, uh, we want to remove this from the overall selection. So if you hold down Alt, the plus turns to a minus. All right, let's, uh, let's just shrink it down a bit. If you hold down Alt, that turns to a minus and that will remove um, the selection. So minus removes plus adds to the selection. So now we've got the selection. Uh, I'm just literally going to um, cut and paste. So Command C or Control C on a, on a Windows P, uh, keyboard and then Command V and that's going to um, just create a new layer. So I create a new layer. I'm going to press V so I've got the uh, move tool and then I'm going to go down to background I'm then going to add a solid color, which is going to be a white solid color. So that's added a solid color. Uh, we no longer need this background, but I'm just going to keep it there just in case I, I need it for the future. So selecting this layer again, as you can see, we've got a really nice white background almost immediately. Uh, con Command T, you can then um, adjust the size and the shape of it. Uh, I'm probably going to reduce the size of it a little bit because I want to crop this to a square in a minute. So already looking quite nice. Um, that sucker part that used to be on there, let's just go back to it. This part here, which actually is used to suck onto the windscreen, um, I don't like the fact that it's it's very grey looking and, it, and it's, uh, it doesn't look very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that manually. So on this layer, I'm going to choose the um, ellipse tool. I'm going to have a very light grey stroke and I'm going to click on the background and add a new layer. So it's going to be on this layer, so it's going to be underneath it. And then I'm literally going to kind of create a sort of uh, ellipse which will mirror that sort of um, sucker shape. Um, Command T again or Control T if you're on Windows will be able to adjust this to make 
uh, any adjustments to it um, so it looks like it's it's actually part of the product yeah okay right so you can see there's a faint line there um, you can actually adjust the um, probably around maybe three three pixels is probably going to work best um, I mean I'll probably do a little bit more work on that but that gives you you know that makes it a little lot, lot cleaner but um, I'm just going to leave that for now okay so now I want to add a nice little drop shadow to make it look like it's levitating very easy to do choosing this layer here if you press, press command J or control J on a Windows PC it's just literally going to copy that layer and add a new one uh, then I'm going to go up to image adjustments brightness contrast I'm going to choose legacy and I'm going to whack the contrast up and the brightness down um, so it just gives you a black um, black block color for the whole outline then I'm going to press control T or command T and I'm going to drag that down so it's a little flatter put it about here then I'm going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur now this is going to give you a nice uh, sort of soft uh, spread shadow it's going to be harsher if it's down here so just getting that sort of um, right combination really it's quite dark now but I'm quite happy with the way that is because I'm going to now go to um, this layer one copy which you know you can call shadow if you want makes it a little bit easier so I'm going to change the opacity and so I'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit just to soften it up um, and there you go so the ellipse and the layer you might want to link those so select both layers then right click and link the layers so when it comes to just moving um, the holder the actual ellipse moves with it otherwise the ellipse is going to stay down here and you're going to have to marry it up again so you can move it around um, I'm going to move the shadow up a little bit here and it looks pretty much how I want it so this is ready for me to go and save and then put it onto the to the website uh, last thing I do is I'm going to use the crop tool and I'm going to put it to square uh, a lot of eBay uh, listings and Amazon listings need a square totally square uh, image so you put that to the middle um, these heart handy guides make it look um, you know so you can put everything uniform or if that's a word uh, and there you go so it's cropped square so I can save that as a as a PSD and then I'll save it as a web image uh, ready to go up on the site so yeah quick tutorial just to show how I cut things out tidy things up and make them levitate a little bit ready for um, uploading hope you enjoyed the quick tutorial cheers